Oh, oh shit. Hey there, guy. Hey. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Angry Goose Gaming, and welcome to Whistleblower DLC for Outlast. We had just finished up the story of Outlast, and Miles Upshore met his fate and became the host of the Wall Rider. What happened after that, we've got no idea. But we're going to do the Whistleblower now. And uh, unlike Outlast, I have not played through the Whistleblower before, so this is going to be an exciting experience for me, and hopefully for you as well. So let's get into it. We're going to do normal difficulty. We're not going to get too crazy here. Now, let's get into this. So I think this is before the whole um, main story of Outlast. Oh, hey there, buddy. Oh, okay, just pick me up. Oh, man, why do you have a mask and he doesn't? Open those eyes. We don't have to wake up, but open your eyes. How do you open your eyes and not wake up? What's the matter? Did somebody hit you? Yeah, you hit me. Can I look away from you? I don't like you. Ugh. Ugh, that was in my ear. Oh, that was very uncomfortable. It sounds like real trouble. Real At trouble. Fujin, they said hope made a lateral ascension. What do you hope? You're not Ooh, happy about it? The wall rider image. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Come on. Check <clears throat> it out. Wall rider. All right, two hours earlier. You don't know me, have to make this quick. Uh, they might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult on Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities and Mount Massive, all sorts of NDAs. I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Oh, you're the guy that sent the letter to Miles Upshore to get him over here. Uh, terrible things happening here. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors ta talking about dream therapy, going too deep, finding something that has been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt, and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. Hello. I'm just having a coffee here. Should maybe take that with you. I wouldn't leave that laying around. Hey. Yeah. They've paged for you three times already. There's something oh, sorry. The engine. Okay, I'm yeah, I'm heading over. Here anyway? Yeah. Why weren't you answering the page? Uh, I was, was taking a shit. Okay, I'm coming. Guess I'm going this way. Alrighty, hey there, Murkoff guys. Fellow Murkoff staff, hi. Hurry up, they're waiting on you. Your shirt sleeves, I think, are a little tight. Your fucking arms are purple. You got enough circulation there. You kind of look like the other guys too. Is all brothers? Okay, I'm coming. I've got Gluskin out. I'm coming. Page him again. Park. Finally. Where yeah. Have you been? Oh, I just taking Functional a shit. Functional faces and talking to the ASL. We got a patient 30 seconds out and we're blind inside his head. All right, just hold your damn delay. horses. No. Park is here. We are going to get this shit Mr. sorted Park out. going to have us up and running before we even know it. Yep, got to do Park. fucking everything around here. Are we happy, Mr. Park? Very, very uh, happy. Steve? Found some good memes while I was taking a shit. You're doubting our friend, Mr. Wayland Park? Which I can Yeah, don't doubt me. Don't doubt me. Skill and considerable dedication to the Murkoff Corporation. Fuck me, they're bringing him in. Yeah, we're almost there, don't worry. Coming up to halfway. Help! 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 Help!
Almost there. <clears throat> oh, hey. Hey. No, no, I'm just a guy out of computer. Hey, calm yourself. Hey, whoa. This is a high security. It's all right, I didn't do nothing. I just, just stood surprised. up. I'm sure he's still calm and eager to finish his work. Take your seat. Now, right back at her. Quickly, Mr. Park. Head will need to roll if the fusion monitoring is not active when we put him in the engine. Five seconds. Hold. Stand by. Arterial spin labeling is back online. Good. Positioning imaging. Man, that is acting fast. You're finished, Mr. Wayland Park. You can leave. Okay. Don't anything but honesty in my review of your performance. <clears throat> Retrieve your laptop from... <coughs> uh, don't yell at me. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Okay, we need to retrieve our laptop because we couldn't have grabbed that... ...before, you know, somebody might open that up and snoop around. Look at those websites you've been researching, eh, Park? Somebody's been telling stories outside of class. Hey! Oh, Knew it! Knew it! I could see him. Oh! Ow! Oh, that was aggressive. Consulting contract 8208. Software engineer with a level 3 security clearance. Graduated cum laude from Berkeley, but still somehow not smart enough to realize that the last thing a fly ought to do in a spider's web is wiggle. Mm. Hey, that wasn't mine. To think that a borrowed laptop, onion router, and firewall patch would be enough to fool the world's leading supplier of biometric security. Stupid, Mr. Park. More than stupid. In fact, that was crazy. I'm afraid we're going to have to have you committed. Uh oh. Mr. Park, will you willingly submit to forced confinement? Nope. Nope. Did you hear that, Agent? Nope. He said yes, Mr. Blair. Oh, I said no, you liar. Oh, and uh, did I just hear Mr. Wayland Park volunteer for the morphogenic engine program? Nope. Well, you did I not. Heard, Mr. Blair. That was brave and putting words in my mouth. The Murkoff Corporation and the Onward March of Science both appreciate your bravery and sacrifice. Maybe you could administer Mr. Park here a light anesthetic. Gladly. Oh, you said light. That was that was a heavy anesthetic. Oh. Oh, boot to the face. All right, let's get into this. So this is just before the Outlast storyline with Miles Upshore. Uh, Mr. Park is the one who sent the letter to the media. Oh, man. I can still see it. Hey, can you see this too? Pretty crazy. You're telling me to shush. Oh, stand up. Oh, hey, wall rider. Oh. That can't be good. All right, I got wall rider vision. Get up, park. Camera, of course, gotta have a camera. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, not good. <clears throat> I fucked up. Oh God, where am I? Hours could have passed, or weeks. Brain filled with static. They made me watch the, the engine. Have to get help. Have to call for help. Lisa, I'm sorry. If I die, I know you'll find me. I know you won't rest until you find my body. I hope you find this camera with my corpse. I hope the evidence on it does what I couldn't expose, the truth. Uh, Lisa, baby, I'm sorry I fucked up. I thought I was doing the right thing, but I fucked up bad. You certainly fucked up bad. Did everybody else get torn apart except for me? Hello? You think you're safe in there? Wallflower. Pretty flower. Fucking. Okay. I'll open you up. Open you up and show you. Can you, can you open the door? You wait right there. I am. Thank you. Thank you, friend. It was nice of you. 
Battery. Excellent. Excellent. I was hoping maybe I wouldn't need batteries in this game, but you know, it is at last. <clears throat> Do what? Oh. A little smoky in here. Oh, what's going on? What could possibly be happening? Oh, you're getting messed up. Jesus. Oh. Oh, man. Why are you guys all looking at me? All right, I'm going. So the patients have turned. They're attacking the doctors. Luckily, I'm not a staff right now. I'm a patient. Man. Oh, man. What is was killed by the wall rider and what was killed by patients? Hey, let me in. I'm a patient, too. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Oh, hey. Hey. Come to join our therapy session. Yeah. There. Yeah, sure. Take the blade. Keep around in our friend here. Um. Get a little red on your hands. Okay. It's always healthy to express yourself. You keep um. it bottled up too long and you might do something you regret. Okay. No. Are you guys. Oh too good for the likes of us. Think you're different. Something special. There are I... no observers here. I think you got him. Now, get the fuck out of here before I change my mind. Okay, I'll just be on my way. Sweet cheeks. All right, out here we go. Oh, God damn it! Trying to go. Oh, Come why? Back here. Take that. Little bastard. Okay, why do I have to run? I'm not a doctor, I'm a patient like everybody else. Okay. Oh, shit. What is gonna be in. We get out of here through reception. Merc tactical clean it up. If okay. We get here in time. We need help now. If we get them on the radio, then there's no guard radio. To be here within. We don't even know the radio works. It's shortwave. If the prison's got electricity, they've got signal. And the Use a shortwave radio Merc in Merc the prison. Control. Yeah, I noticed. We need to get to that radio. Outside help doesn't come without outside attention. All right, radio it is. <clears throat> There's a radio in the prison. Short wave. If it's electronic, I can make it talk. Make it work for me. There's hope. Lisa, I'm coming home to you. My mistake was suddenly, like you always said, I thought leaking information to a few journalists was the safer way. I didn't want the spotlight, the attention. Murkoff is dangerous. I know that. I thought it had to be subtle for your sake, Lisa, for the boys. But I should have exposed what Murkoff is doing to the world. I should have shouted to any... Anyone and everyone. I can't die, not before I reach the radio. They can't cover this up now. It's too broken, too dangerous. Okay. To the radio we go. Hopefully we can get there before these guys and... I'm sure we're gonna die anyways, but hopefully we can get the word out. Get old Miles up shore out here. And he can go through his misery. Oh, wall rider vision. Excellent. Hey there, friend. Don't mind me. Just gonna push this out of the way here. Hey. Hey. Let me get the door for you. Okay, any batteries? We are a very short supply of batteries. More would be greatly appreciated. Oh man. Oh. Damn it, Wall Rider. Okay, that's locked. 
this guy that was strangled by that guard. Hey, can't go through there. Hello? Okay. <clears throat> Man, these guys got messed up hard. Wall Rider has been busy. Hey. Nope. I was. I'm a patient like you. Okay. I stole these clothes from a dead body I found. You All right. Get me out of here, please. Just push the button. Open the door. We can get out of here together. Here. Here we go. Oh. Oh, you are done. Uh, how did that doctor coat work out for you? Ooh. Okay. Don't mind me. I've never seen a man die before today. Never seen a dead body outside of a coffin. Dozens today, murdered and worse. I looked into one man's eyes as another tore him to pieces. Claimed he was a doctor, then saw the rags they've dressed me in and changed his story. Uh, said he was a patient. Could have been either. They're all crazy, all sick. No real difference between them now. The therapy is spreading, and what am I? I watched this man die, and only thought, it's not me, thank God. I know I will die someday. I don't want to be murdered. Yeah, don't blame you. These guys are pretty crazy out here. Oh. Wall rider, why? Okay. Oh, man. Another what's coming. Okay, let's have a look this way. Okay, I can't get through there. This way we're going. It's with all the noises people are making. We got more batteries. Nothing. No goodies for me. Okay, a file. Pick that up. <clears throat> Can I get up here? <gasps> Nothing? Nope. Alright, let's read you. From J. Blair, Murkoff Corp, US.com, to H. Grant, Murkoff Corp. Subject, Resignation for Mental Health, CC8208. Miss Grant, you may receive requests for information from a Mrs. Lisa Park of Le Leadville, Colorado, in the coming weeks concerning the resignation and hospitalization of her husband, Waylon. If so, please forward them to my personal attention. Waylon Park, former consulting contract 8208, resigned due to previously undiagnosed mental illness. I personally visited Mrs. Lisa Park and her sons and broke the news to them uh, with the silver lining that Murkoff Psychiatric would be generously providing treatment. Mrs. Park had some less than charitable things to say about myself and the Murkoff Corporation. I assured her that with the, her power of attorney, she could try to fight the doctor's diagnosis of her husband's illness. However, if it were discovered that he resigned under false pretenses, his insurance would be cancelled and the family would be saddled with an insignificant health care debt. Uh, hopefully she understand, uh, but if she insists on making the nuance of herself, uh, her tries to get around me, please let me know this is one I want to take care of personally. Yours, Jeremy Blair. Well, Jeremy Blair, old Waylon here is going to be trying to put a wrench in your plan. Is this the main, main door? Or a side exit? I'm guessing this is locked. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm thinking we're going up here then. Looks uh, a little dangerous. Sparks flying. I hate everything that's happening right now. I hate that there's lockers. What is this? More wall rider stuff? Uh, any batteries in here? Nothing in here. Okay, excellent. Go back this way. Go through the door. Anything over here? Nothing. Oh, a battery. Yes. Hey, pick it up. 
Pick it up, thank you. Jesus. All right, this way we go. Uh, through here. Gonna make sure we don't miss nothing. We want to get as much of the story and everything as we can. Looks like uh, things have been busy in here. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, I don't like the stabby sounds coming from there. Okay, I can't go through there. Oh. Hey there, guy. Okay. Okay. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Don't ask to see my body, Lisa. When I die, when you finish the lawsuit, they'll let you pay this footage to Murkoff's army of law lawyers and corporate hitmen. Don't make them show you my body. Just bury it or burn it. Let my sons remember me whole. That man is eating human flesh. He looks at me and I see anger. A little desire, but more than anything, hunger. Uh, please don't make them show you my body. Yeah, he just kind of exploded a head in the microwave. Uh, let's uh, avoid all of that. Don't need my noggin in there. I'm quite okay with uh, not going through that. Oh, I hate that. Oh, why are there noises? Uh, okay, I'm gonna reload battery. I assume we're gonna be doing some running eventually. I'm guessing not everybody's going to be so friendly with old Parks okay. here. I think it's safe. Can you climb up? I'm coming, Cooper! Um, what? I just have to lock the... There. Okay. I'm coming! Hold on! Alright, I guess we're going this way. Oh, that's locked. Alright, this way we go. Okay. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Save me. Save me. No. Save me. Save me. No. No. I'm okay. I'll pass. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna go in here. Ugh. Why? Okay. Ugh. Mmm, okay. That looks like a place I'm supposed to go. Ugh. Okay, that was just where I was. Oh, good thing I came back. Battery. Yes. Thank you. There we go. Alright. Up here, let's go this way. Oh, hey. Hey there, friend. Did you say you have an itch? I'm just, I'm just looking for keys, friend. Okay, there's a key. Hey, hey, excuse me. Uh, so, oh no, I don't think I can get back up that way, can I? No! Alright, this way. Okay, friend, don't you worry. You just chill out there. Okay, how are we getting back now? Another file. Case MM120715, update 271. Form note, all material herein to be transcribed according to form 4083 with forensic revisions as benefits ongoing lawsuits 120715. Author Ethan Srisk, uh, not going to pretend to pronounce that. Notes, uh, this is a request for specific legal <coughs> consultation in the ongoing lawsuit by Melissa Chow against Murkov Charitable Psychiatric Inc. 
originally filed in 2010. At the time of Miss Chow's termination, the psychosomatic uh, effects of the morphogenic engine on female employees and patients uh, had been well established. Already more than seven female employees and patients had re uh, reached fictitious half-term pregnancies in a matter of uh, weeks before miscarrying uh, the non-existent child or children, uh, five of them fatally. Female employees were moved to higher floors in the facility, then to other buildings, and eventually entirely off the massive facility. The critical secrecy of Project Wall Rider uh, necessitated secrecy in the motivating factor for the reassignments and terminations, resulting in perceived injustice for several terminated parties. Ms. Chow has succeeded in acquiring a court-ordered FOIA uh, release of the documents surrounding her termination. Those documents will need to be generated and post-dated, providing uh, ameliorating information uh, while skirting the relevant secrecies of, project, of the project. Please advise Ethan Srisk, uh, consultant MM214. Okay, those were words and a half, but we get through her. Okay, back which way? I don't know. Oh, fuck you! Jesus, this way. Oh, get away from me. Oh. I don't, don't like it at all. Oh, back up we go, up we go, up we go. Hey. Goodbye. I don't think that's going to be the last of that guy. Oh, are you going to be the new friggin' uh, Chris? Chris Walker. Oh, why is everything dark? Please, what? Oh, hate everything. Oh, we just get out of misery with miles offshore, and of course, we're gonna get right back into it with yet another individual. Where the hell is more batteries? They're probably all over the place and I'm walking right past them. Like in Outlast. Oh no, I hate things. I hate things. Okay. Oh, oh shit. Hey there guy. Hey. Oh, no. Oh, you had a guy that was plenty of meat for you. Don't know why you need, you know. Stay there. Oh. And cook. Oh, I don't want to. Oh, you are a weirdo. Oh, okay, this is like way out. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's getting hot in here. It's getting very hot. Just. Come on! Oh, okay. Oh. You were mine. No. I don't know where I'm going. There's a ladder there. There's a door here. Okay. Batteries. Is there more batteries? Nothing in here. Uh, let's have a look here. Interesting. What do we got here? Chapel. Father Martin. You gonna be around here? Excerpt from a recording of Dr. Bruce Newhouse, MD, employed by Mount Massive Hospital, 1958 to 1965. Father Clark, uh, for be it from me to lie to a man of God, uh, so let me at least say that I will do my personal best to improve the safety of your working conditions. I and the rest of the staff truly appreciate everything you do for our patients and if you feel threatened by anybody in particular simply let us know and we can either increase chemical restraints or administer lobotomy or similar calming procedure. Don't underestimate the contrib contribution your sermons offer our patients especially considering the depth and necessarily chaotic nature of hy hypnotherapy. Our patients need uh, the bedrocks of God and family. Not all of our poor unfortunates have families to call upon. And so the burden and calling is yours. Uh, we all are relying of us relying on your faith and hard work. Uh, DBNR, uh, Dr. Newhouse, MD, May 20th, 1961. Okay. 
Who's threatening to you? Could it be Dr. or not Dr. Uh, Mr. Father Martin? Is he threatening you to spread his message and gospel? Um, okay, where are we going now? All that's locked up. Uh, what's up here? Okay. You should be careful where you're throwing things. Can I get up here? Probably. Yep, yeah, I can. Okay, I'm not done searching this place though. So let's get in here. Oh. Okay. Okay, there's anything in here? Batteries? Anything of use to me? What was the point of this? All right, back we go. <clears throat> Up here we go. Up here. And I guess we're going up. That is what appears to be what is happening. Who knows what is going to be up this way. <clears throat> Some more shimmying. Hopefully we don't fall like the other guy. And smash our head. Seems like a long drop to me. Oh, wall rider. Wall rider, I see you. I see you, wall rider. Just can't get through there. Okay. I guess I can get through there. Not even a battery. What is this? What is this stuff? Okay, I don't know what's going to be down there. Oop. I guess we're going for it. It is a battery there. Damn it. Actually, I think I'm going to leave that episode here so uh, we get right into it a decent bit. We've got a little bit of what's going on, everything that's happened previous to Miles Upshore coming to Mount Massive Asylum. But we got to get to that radio and get our message out before we succumb to whatever uh, comes our way, most likely the Wall Rider. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. If you guys played the whistleblower as well, uh, let me know down in the comments. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe so you can see some more. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video.